Remember the 90s? Whenever a computer hacker was hacking away at some glowing green screen, what kind of music was playing in the background? That's right, techno. Or acid. Or drum and bass. Depending on what year and what was in style. Why is that, you may be asking? I don't know. So here's farm and bass. Farm and bass is a totally made-up genre that I'm going to go into great detail in about. Farm and bass sometimes shortened to fab on various internet subcultures, forums, began sometime around 1999. It was spread organically through file sharing sites known as Napster. For those of you who don't know what Napster is, do you see this shit? There's a fucking dead meme on the Wikipedia page. The most famous farm and bass producer was known as DJ Tractor, who would combine hardcore kicks and tractor noises to create massive walls of sound. Fun fact, DJ Tractor had only one show in his life. It took place in the spa town of Malvern, Worcestershire, somewhere in the UK I guess. It was so wild and turnt and lit that a flock of sheep stampeded the dance floor. DJ Tractor was never seen again. So to celebrate DJ Tractor's legacy, I'm going to be creating farm and bass in front of your eye holes and maybe even your ear holes. Oh hi, didn't see you walk in there. Sorry for the mess. I wasn't expecting any company. Now as we all know, farm and bass requires a lot of farm animal noises, so I downloaded some free, royalty-free farm noises from YouTube.com. And this is everyone's favorite noise. I think that's a cow. And then we have this noise right here, which is a... A cock. And now here's another noise that you all remember. For this track, I made real simple patterns. So I made this synth in 3S Oscillator because, you, as you all know, it's my favorite synth. And that also doubles as an ARP. Because, you know, I love them bubbles. So you can't forget the bass and farm and bass. So what I did was I sampled this uh, unusual farm sample. And it sounds like this. And then it's always good to layer multiple bases on top of each other. I also added some zippery synths because I like that v noise. I noticed this trend in a lot of new music where instead of using a synthesizer they just use the person's voice singing. So I kind of did that but with a cow. That's actually a cow. And don't forget the piano. If ever you make a drum and bass song, it needs to have a, like, a really obnoxious piano. If it doesn't, then it's not an actual f drum, I mean farm and bass song. Now with all these farm samples and drum samples, we can make a track that would make DJ Tractor proud. If anyone knew where he was, because he's been missing for the past 15 years. So, rest in peace. Seriously? 
Thank you for watching my videos.